Most old school scritches and scratches are now done digitally. Gone are the days of abusing albums, but it's time to use some other old technology to find some new sounds. To make your very own scratch box, you're only gonna need a few things. To start off with, we'll need a mono quarter inch phone jack, a small momentary switch that's normally open, something to put it all in like an Altoid style tin, and a playback head from an old cassette deck. I've had this portable cassette deck that records and plays sitting around for a while, and now the buttons don't even work on it, so it's gonna be perfect to take apart for this project. There was four screws I had to loosen up, and then it came apart and revealed the guts of this cassette deck. Now, in this case, there's two heads, a record head and a playback head. You wanna make sure you remove the playback head, which is usually in the center. A couple of screws to remove that, and then just one snip to cut the cable. We've now got our cassette deck playback head. Okay, let's put it all together and we'll start with our tin. Place the phone jack in one end and mark the location and our switch can go on the other end of the tin. Out to the shop where the tin will go in a vise to hold it in place and then we're gonna use a small drill bit to drill a pilot hole before we drill the larger hole. Once we've drilled the pilot hole, it's time for the larger bit and that'll be the final hole for our quarter inch phone jack. And we'll check to make sure it fits and sure enough, it'll fit right through that hole and we'll be able to tighten the nut on the other end. Now we'll repeat the same process on the other end of the box for our switch, starting off with a small drill bit as a pilot hole, then finishing it up with a larger bit and the switch will fit in there snugly. Now onto the cassette deck head. And while we're at it, this one could use a little cleaning, so we're gonna use a small and soft pencil eraser to remove some of the tape oxide built up around the head. You could also use a Q-tip and some alcohol to clean the head. Now we've got our three components, it's time to wire them together. Using just some standard wire, we're gonna make one contact from the switch to the head, from the other connection on the head to our phone jack, and then from the phone jack back to the other connection on the switch. It's a pretty straightforward circuit. Now most cassette deck heads have these tape guides, these two little pieces of metal that stick out, and they have to be bent back, so we'll use some needle nose pliers to bend them down and make them flush with the head. Okay, we'll fasten the phone jack in place with the nut and tighten that down, and then also put the nut on the switch and tighten that down as well. Our two components and wiring are secured in our tin, and now it's time to put the head in place. Now the head is just gonna go on the outside of the tin, and we'll use some hot glue and hold it in place until it dries. Our scratch box is complete, and now we need something to play, and that's gonna be an ordinary credit card or gift card. Even though the cassette deck head is not magnetic and won't affect the credit card, it's best to use an expired one for this project. There's a lot of info crammed in that magnetic strip, and it's gonna come out as some crazy scratch sounds. I plugged it into my mixer, and away we go. This is best thought of as an exploratory instrument. Just rubbing the credit card's magnetic strip back and forth will create some crazy sounds. So that's how to make the scratch box. You can check out more cool musical projects in Junkyard Jam Band. It's a great new book, and there's a link in the description. So that's how to make vintage technology modern again. Reusing old tech is cool, but not when it comes to shaving. And nobody is more high tech than Harry's. Their high quality German engineered blades are crafted for sharpness and precision. They really are amazing. They're half price of the big name drugstore brands, and of course they're shipped completely free to your door. Their starter kit is just 15 bucks, and that includes the sleek razor, three blades, and either Harry's shave cream or their foaming gel, which is what I like. Plus, as an added bonus, you'll get $5 off your first purchase with my code KIPK5. So support my show and head over to harrys.com and experience a new way to shave. That's harrys.com. So that's how to make the scratch box. I hope you like this project. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.